good everybody, Budget Collector here with another quick tossing toys with my boy from the Collector Crew, Sam, how are you doing? Doing great tonight, how are you doing? Doing great. So once again, we got a Mezco here in house. We have the Batman Sovereign Knight. What do you think so far? You excited about getting this in hand? I'm real excited, I love Batman. Uh, looks like a real great box. If we could judge the book by its cover on this one, looking good already. So you got some great colors here, real simple gray to black. Blue DC down in the corner, um, side, pretty simple. Back, you're gonna get to see what you're getting your hands on. So much. Right off the bat, look how many batarangs there are. No pun intended, right? <laughs> so, I know for a fact, um, we already have it out in hand, so it's not gonna take nearly as long as normal. I just wanna get everybody a chance to see what we're tearing into. There we go, out of the package. As you see, he was nice enough to set this up for me because um, I could not do it. So Sam came to the rescue right there. Oh, it, team effort, total team effort. So what do you think, first, first glance? First impression, I love the fabric of the figure. You can pose, figure and move, legs, arms, everything around and you don't see ugly joints. You don't see flaws. It all moves around and kind of looks natural in a way. Yeah. Um, that's the first thing I noticed because a, a lot of Batman figures don't have that. Bunch up or show joints. Exactly. Another thing with this figure is great cape. Nice pleather cape. Um, not, not a real thin cloth like so many come with. Um, I love that as well. I think... The drone is one of the best features of this. Uh, the drone looks great. That's a, that's a first impression, something that I've never seen before. Right. Um, and sticks out to me. Uh, like the uh, blade figure that we've also reviewed, um, tons of accessories. Yeah, yeah. And I, as the first shot showed, you get 10 batarangs. <laughs> you got nine hands. Uh, and you got a, a pair of nucks with pair of nucks. Krypton, yeah. or kryptonite. You need some kryptonite nucks. You never know when you're going to go battling a Kryptonian, right? And that's all you need right there. Four heads, that's a plus, and four very different heads. Yeah, and, and I love the fact that even though this might not be the best looking uh, unmasked head, uncowled head, it is still able to be seen without it. So you could have him like he's, you know, a quick glimpse of just his side. Totally. And, and have that. And then you have, I don't know if that's coming through, but he got beat up. He had a rough day. And those look like claw marks, I would say. Yeah, it could be a real cool crossover pose with like a Wolverine figure. You could, you know. Or if you had the Catwoman. Or the Catwoman would be awesome. You think about that right there, having, you know, the, the love triangle of him and Catwoman and, uh, they have a little cat's meow, let's say that. Because, <laughs> you know, how, how many years has he had a thing for Selena? Oh, geez. Forever. Forever. And, and that right there makes me think, right off the bat, I need to buy the Mezco figure of Selena yep. to have that happen, just so I could have that face and him like, looking in the way like, oh man, all embarrassed that he just got scratched up by her. Oh, that's funny. I also like that you have the different, um, the different ear lengths, so you have a short, Short ear. But you also did mention about the eyes. So that's, that's a negative that I have, just for me personally. I, I like the painted eyes on the face, but then when you get into the face with a cowl, and you know, some people might like that. It might be part of uh, an aesthetic that people enjoy with the cowl. And this is the longer one that I, I do personally think the longer uh, ears catch my eyes better, I personally. I agree. You know, one thing, too, that you know, we've talked about is uh, how the face doesn't necessarily look like a, a Batman character that we know it doesn't, not Val Kilmer, Michael Keaton, uh, Ben Affleck, you know, any of the Christian Bale. Yeah. But for some people, and, and now I'm realizing this might be a positive for me, it, I don't associate it with a movie. True. And that's kind of cool. Like, You're right, like, I never thought of it like that. It's kind of neat. The fact that you could you put this on there and no matter what, 
you could have it with any one of them. Exactly. And that's perfect. You're right. I kind of like that. I could go with that in a heartbeat. And, and, you know, if you are a collector of just one of the movies, this might not be the figure for you then. But if yep. you're a Batman f- fan, like so many of us are, this will cover all the movies. You can pose it with just about anything and be happy. Totally. Say you want to do some sort of crossover pose. You could do a Batman that you don't necessarily associate with a movie in particular and have it be kind of a fun, have it be its own thing, your, your, own, your own version of Batman. Right, and that's not, and we're not even saying the comic. It doesn't exactly. look like yep. the comic. It yep. doesn't look like the animated series. It is its own Batman. Yep. Um, now, what do you think about your accessories here with the big three that you start with? So you've got the, we'll call it the guided Batarang, possibly. Uh, the Batarang that he could control. Looks super cool. Um, really nice, nice detail. Uh, something you come to expect with Mezco, for sure. Um, let's see how much of this actually comes through. You know, sometimes working with the 112 scale is a little more difficult. I, I have done so much with the 6 scale where these things are a little bigger, Yeah. which does help. And so you have the grappling gun. I love the detail on that. What is uh, it, three or four tones at least difference? Yeah. And it, yeah. The, the silver has almost an uh, antique thing going on. You can put the grappling hook in there. And so I already did lose a piece. I'm sure it's somewhere floating around. It came with two different ones. One with a string, so you could have him, you know, getting ready to rappel up, or one without the string. So we'll find the one without the string, of course, but it, that is around. such a cool feature to be able to have. And this is what, the sonar gun? Yeah. Yeah, not sure about the old, the old satellite on the front of it. It uh, definitely, but you know what? It does remind me of something that might have been in the old TV show. Totally, and that's cool. And to be fair, the the side detail, everything else looks really cool. Yeah, that it looks really the, cool. the detail on it looks like from the newer movies. Yeah, the style probably from back then. Yeah. Now, one thing that we uh, have yet to mention is this amazing bag that comes with the figure. So if you are worried about losing 10 batarangs, <laughs> uh, nine hands, four heads, you know, in a partridge in a pear tree, you can put them all in this little bag. And that's something that's pretty unique, I yeah. think. Yeah, you, now you're cutting down on space. Like we all have so many boxes, they fill up a room. Um, you know, you could set it up in maybe a filing cabinet with Absolutely. Batman, Mezco on this, what one it is, know all your parts, keep everything easily accessible in uh, setup. And let's be honest, we're all overwhelmed with stuff sometimes when you when you have 40 different boxes trying to figure out what one goes to what, you start pulling out too many figures, now you got mixed hands, mixed heads. That yeah. hurts. Yeah, nice to show the drone there. That I had to so grab cool. it, I love it. This right here is the sh- star of the show to me, um, I personally. I agree. The detail on this, um, there's articulation on this as if this was its own figure. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it's coming through good, is it? Okay. But look, look at across the back. This almost looks like something you would actually see in the movies. Or, or the, I was going to say, it's reminiscent of uh, something out of one of the Dark Knight movies, I feel like. One, yeah. of, his, one of his vehicles in the, one of the Dark Knights. Okay, so it comes with the basic stand that all Mezco figures do. You know, of course, different color for each uh, Batman that they put out. But it also comes with this. Instead of putting wires in the cape like they should, Mezco, please do this for us. Save us the time. Save us the headaches. It just took us about 20 minutes to set up that cape. Um, Yes, it is nice for the drone. um, and, And maybe give us one or two of these for the drone, but give the cape at least two to three pieces of wire in it that we could easily do this. Save me some time, thank you. So here's another pose for the Batman Sovereign Knight. Um, I feel like this pose really showcases the cape. Uh, something about the no cowl and the cape all the way around brings sort of a Michael Keaton vibe to my oh, yeah. mind. 
um, even though it's not a Michael Keaton face, but it's sort of got that vibe to me. Uh, gotta love the material of the cape. It really, really falls nicely. It does what you want it to do. Um, and then one of the nice things here, if you want to just fold it back, it comes with these folds in it so that you can right wow. over the shoulder. Look how, look how quick that is. One motion and right it's already over the shoulder. Over the shoulder. Oh, one Looking motion. Good. Just like that. That's I, great. I, I can't lie. What you said about the material that his suit is made out of really reminds me of the new suit that he's wearing. Yep. And the same thing, yep. uh, the, the new Superman suit. It's very reminiscent of what this is. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Kind of has some different Batman characters wrapped into this one. Sort yeah. Of some some uh, hints to other Batmans. Which, like you said, makes it great. So if you have a Joker from different lines, you can yeah. run with the same Joker, the same Harley, the same Two-Face, whatever you have, it will look great. Or if you want him in uh, Batman or Batman and Superman going at it, you have the ability to rock out with it, I think. Yep. Let's Absolutely. see how the back looks. Look how perfectly that fold is. Oh, that's great. That's so great. Of course, I moved it from the sweet spot. There you go. Again, you know, we're not using a stand here, and uh, we're on some pretty unforgiving styrofoam, and the figure stands up really well. Yeah, I'm uh, surprised at that. Yeah, nice, nice big feet, mm -hmm. but also really nice articulation. Ar nice articulation all the way around. Um, nothing too stiff or too loose. And I think anytime you can stand a figure up, yeah, nice. Nice look at that. That's, that's fantastic. You know, you could really have him looking over his shoulder at you right now. And also a Batman that can look down. I feel like that's such a big Batman. Look at that. Anytime yeah. a Batman can look down. Sitting there posing, looking down at what's going to be his uh, prey to come down, swoop down, and rip him, rip him up. Definitely looks good. Okay, so we're going to take a quick look at this uh, Bat Belt by Rob. Uh, what does he call it? Utility belt. Utility belt. There we go. So, yes, he does have a gold utility belt, and none of this stuff is accessible. This right here is a little different to me. Yes, it does hold it. Uh, I think the color difference really shows through a little too much, but it is better than nothing. And, yes, now he is holding it and set up. What do you think about the belt? I like the color. It's a nice, nice gold uh, color to sort of offset the suit. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I don't. I have to agree with you. I don't really like holster on the back. Um, it. I it, never remember him reaching to his back. I always remember him reaching to his side. Yeah, he might. He might. Um, but I, yeah, I always feel like it's on the side. Um, yeah, I don't know. It, it is hidden well. It, it is. is hidden well. It does. That would be my concern, is if it if it showed through the cape, if you had a little. Uh, trying to think, we have one. We have a, a sideshow one that has it on its side. We'll have to side. take a look and see if. Yeah. How that looks. I, I will say at least it's hidden by the cape. True. The cape kind of saves that. I like the, the overall color. It stands out. Um, but also, some people might not like how it, how much it stands out. True. So let's get another quick pose and see what we can do. What do you want to go with a battering pose, maybe? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Here's our third pose in the Batman. Got the uh, sort of bat fleck cowl on, but if you've got the kryptonite knuckles, that's kind of he was the Batman to fight Superman. Exactly. So you got to go that way. He's um, ready to kick some ass right he, there. Excuse he is. my language, but look at that. The that right there has quickly became my favorite knuckles for him. Like the kryptonite knuckles is something I catch in my eye every time. That one I'm really enjoying. I, I had to jump in. I had to say it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It it literally is translucent, pretty much. Well, right? and you didn't you say you had another figure? Yes. That has... Um, I have a sideshow that is um, set up very similar looking, but the quality of that looks better than the sideshow, and I'm surprised because. This was half the price or less, and I'm happier with that hand. That hand is probably not going to change too often. Sometimes you get those uh, great little accessories and the cheaper items that uh, that can overshadow some of the more expensive yeah, stuff. I, it's I'm fun pleased. to find those 
diamonds in the rough, you could say. And, um, and the detail on that battering that's in his hand is standing oh, out like crazy. Got to mention that. I mean, that looks mm -hmm. awesome. We showed that a little bit before, but uh, there it is in his hand. It looks awesome. It really does. And I, it's textured black, too, so it's not even a flat black. I, I yeah. don't know how much that will actually come through on any camera, but the fact that that is textured, it almost looks like carbon fiber. Yeah. Yep, yeah. And with well Batman, he's all about tech. He's all about the newest and the new. He would have something like that. That, that can't look be. shiny plastic. No. It just can't. It doesn't work. Um, I will say probably my favorite thing about this pose was setting it up. Um, the cape, the way that you wanted the cape to look and the fact that you made it look the way you wanted to in a half a second yeah. was so cool getting the cape to fold around the arm like this to make it look like you just picked up that arm it's just it's folding the cape back that took no work and it's all uh satisfaction yeah it's one of those toys when you get it in hand it's posing itself it feels yeah like. everything that we've done with it other than this stand poses itself the stand is uh definitely a little different. Challenging, yeah. yeah. Good way you to know, put it. When you look at a Hydra coming out of it, you already know you're going to have some fun. Yeah. But that right there, just to get some good poses, some simple stuff, you know, like you said, it folds over well it, it, and it looks good. It doesn't look like a cheap piece of cloth just hanging there. Exactly. Exactly. It's right on the body. You can see the muscles underneath the fabric and where the fabric folds, you, it, it looks like it's actually yeah. folding full scale. And, and he's got a big old bat bulge. Like, let's be honest. He looks yep. like he's uh, he's doing his thing. That's bat bulge, why. Yeah. Yeah. The, well, that's why uh, Catwoman comes back. I'm assuming. Right. Right. So let's get one more good pose in there. What do you think? Yeah. So we have. Here's our fourth and final Batman pose for the Sovereign Knight. This pose is. Uh, he may have met his match. Got a little messed up. You can see the cow is destroyed, and uh, he's deciding to get out of there. The getting while the getting's good is sometimes the best plan. Yep. He um, dropped his kryptonite knuckles, and time to go. Yeah, so this pose was a little fun to get into. Um, we are uh, t we definitely had a tag team. It. He does have his um, grappling hook attached. I don't know if you could quite see it. Um... But it is attached, it's going up, it's yanking him up, he's one-footed, um, which is always great when you could actually get a one-footed pose down. Um, the, the cape is going back. I almost feel as if we should tip his head back a little bit to the maximum that it will, which it already is, and now I'm just messing it up. Um, but really looks good. Now, altogether, what do you say this figure is? Out of 10? Yes. Out of 10, if you were to say 10 being you got to buy it if you're a Batman fan, one being stay away from it, don't put a dollar on it. This one, honestly, this one has a lot of really cool features. Um, the cape is, is the best Batman cape I've seen on anything this scale. A lot of detail in the weapons. Um, the face the kind of sort of cartoony face pulls me out of it a little bit uh the the belt feature that you talked about kind of pulls me out of it a little bit but overall i really like it um out of 10 and and this is this is a very positive uh it's a strong eight to me okay. um the and that's because of the features the the drone right. is unique i sort of talked myself from a seven to an eight uh through this review because of the features and, and the way that you could sort of make it your own Batman right. in a way. It, it's not, it, it doesn't uh, remind me of, it doesn't instantly remind me of a movie or a comic book. Okay. How about I, you? I like that. Um, me, I'm, I'm probably right again at an eight. Um, I like the faces enough to say, this feels good. I like the different length of the ears. You have all different feels. Things I didn't like are the, the, the utility belt is a little rough for me. Um, I expect those to be a little more detailed. Yeah. Personally. The, the, what he's wearing is perfect. That fabric is probably my favorite Batman fabric I have had. 
and um, I hope they continue using that. Yeah, I agree with that. This is a little gaudy across his chest. That should be on a, a, a 10 inch figure, not a seven inch figure. Yep. It doesn't fit, but the cape is perfect. The fabric is perfect. The, the best uh, knuckles I've seen, you know, those look what, unbelievably good. So anybody who is into posing Batman with Superman in a fighting pose, I think you're gonna love it. It's gonna really shine. So eight out of 10, um, buy it. I would say if you have the money, budgeted, buy it. Try finding it under a hundred. Don't pay the 140, which I'm seeing on eBay. Um, anything over a hundred, I wouldn't spend it personally, and that's just because the scale and it's still Mezco and it's made out of fabric, and we're not talking about a poly stone or anything like that. Um, any any last words on this? I agree. I think anything over a hundred, I wouldn't pay for this. It, it, it's great for for eighty. Um, and I was just thinking, if you don't like, uh, if you're not into the Affleck Batman, but you want a Batman that fights Superman, this is a real good uh, figure for you because you get the kryptonite knuckles, yeah. um, but you don't have to look at Affleck. Perfect. Uh, if you don't like that. You know, and, and that's such a, a point. Either people love them or hate them. Yeah. There's just about no in between. You know, yeah. I personally like them, but it's because I know he actually liked the character. Yeah, totally. So. Um, thank you so much for joining us again, man. The collector crew is growing, as you see. We have um, a bunch of reviews coming up, some more tossing toys, hopefully another hunt coming out. Um, anything you want to throw in? I just really appreciate being on here and being able to review toys with you. And uh, let's keep having fun. All right, the pleasure's all mine, man. The collector crew, like, comment, subscribe. Peace out.